Safety devices and heating and cooling equipment have three main purposes. To prevent equipment failure, to prevent property damage, and to prevent personal injury. The limit switch is a thermal cutoff device that interrupts the flow of voltage when heating to a specific temperature. Limit switches are designed to protect the equipment from operating above manufacturer specifications. Limit switches are designed to break at a design temperature and automatically make at a specified temperature. For example, L160-20 means the voltage will break at 160 degrees, make at 20 degrees below the break, therefore voltage will convey through the limit switch at 140 degrees. How does the limit switch work? Let's look at each component that makes up the limit switch. The top part of the limit switch is plastic and has terminal ends to connect wires. Inside are contacts that are opened by a plastic plunger. The bottom part of the limit switch is a metal housing which absorbs the surrounding temperature. Inside the bottom of the metal housing sits a bimetal disc. The bimetal disc is made from two different metal alloys with different coefficients of thermal expansion. The disc changes from a concave shape to a convex shape when it reaches the brake temperature, pushing the plunger upward and opening the contacts. The disc changes back to a concave shape when it reaches the make temperature, lowering the plunger and closing the contacts. Due to the snap and action of the disc, a limit switch may also be referred to as a snap disc. Limit switches may look different from the current model, but they all function the same to prevent equipment failure. Thank you for watching the How It Works series.